Hi everyone, in today's video I am going to show you how I make a purple ocean cheese board using Liquitex Dioxazine Purple Acrylic Ink. I have two purple micas from Crystal Resin. And I have Mayron Gold Powder. And Casting Craft White. So I've gone ahead and I've mixed up my resin and so for this board I'm using 100 milliliters of crystal resin and you'll see I've mixed up my colors here. That's one of the purple micas and to my surprise this one actually turned out to be, the lighter purple turned out to be a color shift so it has, uh, um, it's purpley blue. Purple? Yes, probably purple. And there's the gold and a little bit of the white casting craft. So you'll see I've laid tape down on the bottom of the board and that I just do that so that I'm able to pick it up without getting it dirty. And now I'm just going to create um, the water line with some resin that I have purposely left. <clears throat> Now you guys can do draw out any shape you want, but I really wasn't sure where I was going with this board because I've never done a purple ocean board before and a client asked, specifically asked for it. So here I'm speeding up the process. So I'm covering up the um, board that's above the water line. And I do this for two reasons. One is to, I know that wood will, um, create will gas off so we'll create bubbles and number two if you lay down resin for, or yes lay down clear resin first and then lay color on top it will actually um, create instant depth so that part's completed and here I'm just torching any bubbles that are coming through I just want to make sure that the resin is getting through the hole. The worst thing is um, feeling a rough, rough edge inside the hole. Even though people won't really look inside the hole, I, if I don't, if I don't, if I'm not happy with it, then I'll think that the client's not happy with it. Okay, so we're going to start off with the darkest purple. That's the dioxazine purple. Uh, Liquitex acrylic ink. And you'll see I am not using it all. I always like to leave a little bit of uh, colors left over just, just in case I need to do some touch-ups. And here I am pouring the lighter, lighter purple mica. And the color shift Michael, which at first in the bag I thought was just lilac, but then when I mixed it up, I thought, oh no, I saw it. So at this point, I decided that um, I wasn't really liking the uh, color shift too much, and I was really starting to freak out. So I decided that I was just going to lay a little bit of the um, Doxazine um, Purple Acrylic Ink.
and now I'm just laying some of the gold. And now the, oh, no. I decided to make, uh, extend my water line because I didn't, I wanted the, um, I didn't want to put the casting craft directly against the color. And the reason is, is because if you put it against the color, you'll still get lacing, but then you'll get it. it um, the lacing will take on. How can I explain this? The lacing will take on the color that it's against. So there'll be white in there, but it'll be like um, it won't be white, white. I had a little piece of fluff stuck to the end of my stick there. And now you'll see that I'm also adding up some white above on top of the colors. And I do this a lot. I use this technique a lot. It actually creates more depth when you're blowing it out. All right, so now we're going to wipe down, wipe, make sure, smooth out the sides. And the, for me, this is important because when I blow this out, the resin will flow more evenly over the edge. When you're blowing it out. Okay, so here I am, and I'm just warming it up a little bit. I have it on medium heat here and speed. And now we're just going to start blowing it out. Here at this point, I was thinking, oh no, I don't like this at all. What am I going to do? So I decided to turn up the speed and just fully blow it out and see what I get. And we're just going to let it be, tilt it forward a little bit. And I was hoping for the best. And then, of course, you can see there, all of a sudden, I saw some cells forming, which looked really cool. So I grabbed my torch, 
and started torching and torching lightly will um, help cells develop even more. Aren't they cool? You can just see them developing further and further. And sometimes cells can take up to 10 minutes or more to fully develop. So we'll just let that be. And I decided for more of a visual effect that um, I was going to add another water line. So you'll just, so I added um, some more clear resin. Yes, and I just dripped a little bit there, but that's why I have my baby wipe and I just quickly wipe it off. Okay, and so now I'm just adding the casting craft below, just below that water line. And adding a little bit more of the casting craft in the first water line just to um, accentuate it more because we did, I did blow it out. Okay, and so for my second water line, I am not going to use a, um, the heat gun. I'm just going to use the torch and because I didn't want um, to ruin what uh, what's happening before our eyes here. Look at those cells. And when you do this, make sure you just you don't uh, hold it in one place for too long because you don't want to burn your resin. I'll bring you guys down for a close up on this part. I mean, like, look how cool that is. Okay, so it's the following day, and after I had showed you my close-up, I realized that the client wanted a star. Remembered that the client wanted a starfish, so I laid it on the wet resin and painted it with um, Tester's acrylic, or 
no, sorry, Tester's Paint, Enamel Paint. And now I'm going to add one more layer. And so I'm creating my third waterline now. And covering the rest of the board with the clear resin. Let's give it a quick torch. And I'm super happy with how this board turned out. Love the cells. I hope you guys love them too. And now I'll just add a little bit of casting craft on that, just under that third water line. You can see here that I'm not adding very much and that's because I do not want to cover up the beauty that's happening above that line. So what I'm going to do is just um, lightly blow it out with my heat gun. And of course, I don't want to cover up the starfish. And there we go. And like I said, I'm just lightly blowing it out. And there you have it. And we're all done.